What's new in Revit 2025? Learn about new features in the latest release of Autodesk Revit. For technical details, see the release notes. Select 2025 release. Highlights. To puzzle it enhancements. Community idea, tools and functionality have been enhanced to work with toposolid elements in your models. Arrays of 1 and 0 in families. You can now flex both linear and radial arrays to values of 1 or 0 in the family editor. Background export to PDF. PDF export can be run in the background. While the PDF export process is running, you can continue to work in your model. Create walls with auto join and lock. Community idea, you can automatically join a newly created architectural wall with the adjacent wall, or join and lock them together to speed up your modeling process when working with multiple walls. Sheet collections. Community idea, with the sheet collections feature, you can assign any sheet in the model into flexible groupings. Multiple alignment. You can now align and distribute multiple keynotes, text notes, and tags. IFC export category mapping templates. Use templates to customize Revit category mapping for IFC exports. Coordination model changes. You can now check changes between two versions of a linked coordination model from Autodesk Docs using the coordination model changes feature anytime after linking a coordination model. Edit part type geometry. MEP Fabrication Data Manager, Tech Preview. Edit the product listed part geometry in the Fabrication Data Manager Parts Editor. Analytical duct and pipe segments. Community idea, inspect and visualize pressure drop and flow data in design and fabrication networks. Analytical segments are exposed in the user interface as sub-elements. These segments may be selected, tagged, and scheduled. Improved control of annotations in bending details. Community idea, adjust the position of the embedded tag and dimensions inside bending details. Parametric splicing for typical rebar. Community idea, added the ability to splice rebar sets, specifying the position, lap length, and uniform or staggered layouts, respecting engineering and fabrication specifications. More features. In Canvas Wall Wrapping Control Community idea, control wall end wrapping conditions with controls and plan views. Import export step files. Extended support for CAD files to step file types. Import slash link step files or export 3D views to step files. Operating schedule enhancements. Create complex operating schedules to accurately represent building use during an energy analysis. Next Generation Insight Use Insight to analyze the embodied and operational carbon of your designs. Improved Vector Processing Enhancements have been made to vector processing when printing, exporting to PDF, and exporting to CAD formats for views that contain transparent elements. The New Revit Home Tech Preview Use the new Revit Home toggle button to try the new home page with more features. Shape editing snaps. Enhancements to the snapping behavior when working in shape edit mode allow you to ignore internal points and edges and use the Z value of elements as a snap point. MEP model consistency check. Run a model consistency check to display and review connection inconsistencies for quick fixing. Use advanced steel part and assembly marks in Revit. Community idea, create general arrangement drawings for steel projects using Revit to be better connected across design, fabrication, and construction, by importing the part and assembly marks from advanced steel. Dynamo Updates 3.0.3 Dynamo 3.0.3 introduces package management in a single location, node search, by category improved Revit sample graphs, and more. GBXML Update Revit now supports the most recent version of GBXML, v7.03. Part Search, MEP Fabrication Data Manager, Tech Preview You can more easily and more quickly search for part data in the Fabrication Data Manager improved interface. 
Upload and Assign Images, MEP Fabrication Data Manager, Tech Preview. Upload images or generate them from the model and assign them to parts to make parts more visually identifiable. Local Coordinate System Orientation for Analytical Panels and Members. Use the Local Coordinate System tools for analytical members and panels to align axis orientation and direction. Schematic Bending Details for Rebar Tagging. Use schematic bending details with embedded tags to show rebar bending instructions. Set presentation options for multiple bar sets at once. Select bars to show from multiple rebar sets. Highlight bars exceeding the maximum length. Visually inspect bars that require length adjustments. Prevent unexpected changes to the rebar model. Community idea. Disable rebar constraints for one or all bar segments to block modifications of bars when the concrete geometry changes. Split features for framing and columns with steel connections. The split and split with gap tools are available for steel framing and columns that have connections. Tag and dimension steel connection components. You can tag and dimension individual components of steel connections. Existing tags and dimensions are preserved if you break the connection. Updated set of rules for connections automation. Automatically place more typical connections using less scripts. Sorting parameters alphanumerically. You can sort the project parameters alphanumerically both from the property palette and type properties dialog. Material browser improvements. Community idea. The material browser has undergone improvements enhancing the ease of working with materials in your models. These improvements include faster appearance previews and the ability to batch delete materials from the model or batch add materials to libraries. Multi-loop mullions. Curtain wall mullions can now use profiles with multiple loops. Search in Project Browser Enhancement. When searching in Project Browser, you can view all the child nodes when the parent node contains the keywords. Dark theme for shared views. The dark theme is now enabled for the first level user interface in shared views. Map fittings in MEP fabrication. To improve reliability, you can map fittings when you convert design elements to fabrication parts or change the service. Single phase electrical components. Single phase is now supported for electrical loads and distribution systems. Disable mark number auto-generation. Auto-generation of mark numbers for certain MEP categories has been disabled. MEP parameters. Community idea, new parameters have been added to data panels and fabrication ductwork, enhancing workflow capabilities. Report low voltage panels. The power loads from low voltage panels are reported in the connected power circuits. Macro manager. A new macro management tool replaces the IDE used to create and manage macros in previous versions of Revit. Filter discipline updates. Based on customer feedback, the discipline filters in the visibility slash graphic overrides dialog have been updated. Interface enhancements options bar. The controls that were previously located on the options bar have been relocated to the properties palette and the ribbon. Horizontal coordinate system support. Support for five horizontal coordinate systems has been added to enhance collaboration workflows. .NET 8 Upgrade Revit has been upgraded to incorporate Microsoft's .NET 8 framework. Extensible Storage Improvements Extensible storage has been restructured to minimize schema conflicts and optimize workflows.